Hi, how are you? Today, I want to talk to you guys about traveling with your guitar. Now, I'm somebody who likes to bring a guitar with me when I'm traveling. Even if it's not a music-related trip or a work-related trip, I still like to have a guitar with me. I like to make sure that I'm always practicing and writing, and chances are, if you clicked on this video, you can relate. Now, as electric players, I think that we think that we can't travel with our electric guitar because it means we have to bring our whole rig. Amps, pedals, amps, pedals, amps, pedals, the whole nine the whole nine yards. So for a long time, if I was traveling, that usually meant that I was bringing an acoustic guitar with me. However, more recently, I found some accessories that make traveling with my electric a little bit easier and a little bit less reliant on bringing my entire rig with me. These are my must-have travel accessories for the electric guitar. Also, I've kind of structured this in a way that the top three main items on this list I've done extensive reviews of, so you can find those videos on my channel. I'll also be sure to link them up for you. But let's get started. So first up, my case of choice is this mono M80 guitar sleeve. This carries everything on this list. When I'm traveling, I like to keep things simple and minimal. So everything that I take with me that goes with my electric guitar needs to fit in this case, ideally speaking. It does in this case. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I got other stuff. But anyway, like I said, I have done an extensive review of this case. I love it, 10 out of 10. This is actually not the top end model. They have another model with a boot down here. I'm sure you've seen it. It's got like the rubber boot. I went for the less expensive model and I was a little concerned that this wouldn't hold up, but so far so good. I've had this thing a year. I use it all the time. Anytime I leave the house with one of my solid body guitars, it travels in this case. And I mean, honestly, it still pretty much looks like new. It, it, it really has held up nicely. If you want a more in-depth, extensive review of this case, I will make sure to link that up for you. But moving on, the guitar that I am taking with me on this trip, which isn't, I guess, really relevant to the accessories, but I'll show you anyway. <sighs> See how hard that was to get out of there? Very nice case. This is my latest and greatest, my favorite guitar right now, my newest little baby. Deluxe Atlantic from D'Angelico. Not really relevant to the guitar accessories, but if you're curious about this beauty, I will link up my review as well. So listen, we've got our electric guitar. How are we gonna plug it in? How are we gonna get this thing to make sound? I want you guys to check this out. Boom, check that out. So this is the Vox AC2 Rhythm Vox Mini Guitar Amp. So if I'm honest, I really didn't expect much out of this mini amp. I, I had seen kind of the mini Marshalls and, and the Honey Badger, Honey Tone something, Honey Wheel, Honey Crisp, mini amp, whatever. I had seen those and I don't know, they, they, they seem like little toys, right? Like you, you really wouldn't ever use it. It's probably a cool little thing to sit on a shelf or to like put up here in your studio, but I really didn't see like any practical applications for something like this. I worked with Vox around the release of this product. They sent it to me, I reviewed it, and I was so pleasantly surprised. I will link up my full review if you want a full walkthrough of this mini amp, but it's so cool. You can get a bunch of different tones out of it, overdrive, a bunch of different effects, reverb, chorus, delay, all packed into something that fits right in your guitar case. It's battery powered so you could take this to the park, you could take this to the beach. I don't necessarily recommend bringing an electric guitar to the beach, but you can make your own decision. That's totally up to you. All in all, this is just a really cool, easy way to amp up your electric guitar while you're on the go. Is it as satisfying as plugging into a Marshall stack? Of course not. but. It's a great way to travel with your electric, and I think that you'll find that you don't sacrifice a ton of sound quality, so definitely check this out. I've done a full review, I will link that up for you. Vox AC2 Rhythm Vox Mini Guitar Amp. Oh, and obviously you're gonna wanna have a quarter inch cable with you. Hello. Another thing that I really like to bring with me is my Apogee Duet. Now this is my main audio interface, and if I didn't already own this, I would probably look to invest in something a little bit cheaper, like the Apogee One. But I really like Apogee's products. They record a really high quality sound, both from instruments and microphones, and they're really compact, which makes it really easy to travel. So if I wanna record or produce while I'm traveling, I've got this in my bag. I can plug my electric guitar right into this and get a nice, clean, crisp sounding guitar sound. Definitely not a necessity, but as a producer and songwriter, I always like to have this with me when I travel. Gotta have a guitar strap. I like these overdrive straps just because they're really nice quality and it's a friend of mine's company. Small little company from Holland. I just like to support people like that who are doing cool things, but you gotta have a guitar strap. Obviously, you gotta bring guitar picks with you. I, I use these Hawk picks. 
Shout out to my friend Reese for introducing me to these. Hawk Picks are a small little UK based company. They make these handmade picks, really, really high quality. All I can tell you is once you start playing with picks like these, you will never go back to the generic picks. That was all I played up until recently. And these have been a complete game changer. So I'll take a couple of these with me. But as long as we're on the topic of guitar picks, picks do get lost. And two guitar picks might not be enough. So I do make sure to keep this little guitar pick holder keychain on my bag at all times. This was actually a gift from a friend, a follower, Jared, thank you for this. Really lovely gift, he sent this to me in the mail. He's got my initials embossed on it. Is that, an, is that embossing, embroidering? It's not embroidering, embroidering, that's fabric. I think it's embossing. Anyway, he put my initials on it for me. Really cool little leather case. Um, I keep some spare guitar picks in here. It's great to have. You never know when you're gonna need an extra guitar pick. You can get something like this on Amazon. I'll link it up for you. But this is just like a cool little thing to keep with you. You never have to worry about forgetting guitar picks because you always got some. So next up is the guitar accessory that I never knew I needed and now I just can't exist without it. And it's this little piece of rubber. And maybe you've seen these before, but I had never seen these up until recently. It's, it's literally a guitar neck rest that you can put anywhere. So this could go right on the edge of a desk, right like that. It could go on the edge of a dresser or a side table, wherever you're setting up and playing your guitar. And you can see it's got this nice little cutout for your guitar neck and the rubber grips to the surface of whatever you put it on. Not only do I travel with this, but I keep this in my studio. So if I'm working at my desk, I can just lean my guitar up right next to me while I'm working. It saves me about a 10 second trip back and forth between my guitar stand my desk, which is very necessary. I mean, come on, we want efficiency, folks. I don't know if you've ever set your guitar down on your amp and you walk across the room for something and then you just watch in slow motion as your guitar just goes crashing to the floor. Guitarists, you know the feeling. It's like getting kicked repetitively in the But if you had one of these sitting on top of your amp, you might have saved that guitar from falling and your for that matter. Anyway, this is a great little $7 item that I never knew that I needed. Highly recommend. It's always good to keep a little notebook with you. Um, you never know when you're gonna wanna write an idea down or write down some lyrics or write down some notation. I like these little leather bound moleskins because I'm super extra, but yeah, this comes with me. I use this string cleaner and conditioner from Dunlop. I hate that grimy, dirty feeling on my strings and you're trying to slide up and down the neck and you're like running into grime and dirt and you can't move, can't stand it. You put a little bit of this on your strings, you wipe it off with a cloth, and your strings feel like new. Not only will this extend the life of your strings, but it will maintain the tone for a longer period of time as well. A lot of people use string wipes. I prefer this stuff. It's just what I've always used, but this comes with me. Now listen, just because you're rocking with this doesn't guarantee that you won't break a string. So I think that it's always good to travel with an extra pair of strings. My D'Angelico Atlantic came strung with these Electrozinc strings from D'Angelico. They parted with D'Addario for these strings. But I like them so far, they sound really good, so I got these in the bag with me. So last but not least, I never leave home without this little pouch of tools from Cruise Tools. And this is a great thing to have with you in case you need to do any sort of guitar maintenance. I actually bought this to keep in my studio just because it has just about every tool that you would need for any adjustment, repair, whatever. But it just so happens that everything fits nicely into this little travel size pouch, so I bring it with me. If you do end up needing to change your strings, it's got a string winder and a wire cutter, so you're covered there. There's a little capo in here, which is great because I always seem to forget to bring one of these and I always end up wanting one for some reason, which is funny because I don't always play with a capo, but it's nice to know it's there. It's got this multi-blade thickness gauge with several different thickness measurements. If you need to make neck adjustments or adjust the action on your guitar, this is really good to have. It also comes with all of these different little magnetic bits and they fit into this little screwdriver handle. So pretty much anything that you would need is included in the set. It's got screwdrivers, sockets, hex wrenches, Allen wrenches, and they all work with this little screwdriver handle. The idea behind this kit is to help you make any adjustments or repairs that you would need for your guitar or bass. I think it's really handy to have with you in your studio, on the go, wherever. I love this thing, super cheap too, so. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, I'm about to go on a trip, so I thought I would share with you what I'm bringing with me, what my must-have electric guitar accessories are. Hopefully you find a couple of new things on this list that you wanna check out. As always, links to everything that I talked about will be in the description below. Please be sure to check out some of the extended product reviews that I will also link in the description below. But until next time, my name's Patrick. 
catch you all soon, all right? Peace.